Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on ecology. Our objectives for this lesson will be describe how scientists organize living organisms on Earth. Number two, define ecology. Number three, what factors affect an organism's ability to survive in its habitat? What is ecology? Ecology is the study of interactions that occur between organisms and their environments. Uh, scientists who study these interactions are called ecologists. Now, ecology has an organization to it. Um, it starts basically by talking about uh, what do we uh, start off with as far as the smallest unit uh, in an environment, and that would be the individual organism. Um, and uh, of course, the individual is defined as an organism belonging to a particular species. Now, if you add many individuals together in a particular species, um, and then you have another type of species with uh, made up of a group of individuals, um, then each of those would be what we would consider a population. A population is a group of organism, organisms of the same species living together in a specific area. Um, and then we have something called community. And community uh, basically includes different populations of species living together in the same area. And then we have what we call the ecosystem. And in a, Ecosystem is a system in which organisms interact with each other and their abiotic environments. And we'll talk more about what that word abiotic means. A uh, biome is a type of ecosystem with a distinct climate. Um, and there are six uh, major types of biomes on Earth, which we'll mention later. And then finally, we have the biosphere. And the biosphere is the sum of the Earth's biomes all together. Now here is a diagram or a depiction of the six different levels of ecological organization. Again, we have the individual, the population, the community, the ecosystem, the biome, and the biosphere. So if we start off with the individual, here would be an individual animal. And then a population of that same animal would be here. So of course the population includes the individual. And then if we have different species of animals, um, then that would be considered a community, and the community includes the different populations of individuals. And then we have an even larger group, which is the ecosystem, and the ecosystem includes not only the different communities or populations of animals, but also includes the non-living uh, structures or parts of the environment, such as um, the uh, you know, the atmosphere, um, other organisms like plants and animals, water. So the ecosystem just includes the environment, the, the different things in the environment that help the species to survive. And then we have an even bigger group, which is the biome. And the biome is a specific type of ecosystem. Uh, and it's specific to a certain area on Earth that includes a specific type of climate because of course not all organisms can live in all types of climates. And then finally we have the biosphere which includes everything. And the biosphere includes all living things, everywhere where a living thing could be found on Earth. 